I'm Marion. I'm 19, and the craziest thing happened to me yesterday. I got stuck in an elevator with a guy that I've been madly in love with for three whole years. Brad is so smart, so handsome, so popular, and I'm afraid to even talk to him. Imagine that you end up trapped with the man of your dreams in an elevator. Do you know what that's like? It's, it's like being in space without an oxygen tank. Brad pushed the emergency button and kicked the door. It seems like we'll be here for a while. Oh, no! <laughs> we retreated into our phones to pass the time. I tried to think of something to talk about, but my head was as empty as the Gobi Desert. At that moment, Brad started laughing. I looked at him. Look at this funny picture. It was a picture of a cute corgi dressed as Batman. Underneath the caption was, This city needs a hero. Look! Something to talk about! Do you like dogs? Brad immediately stopped looking at his phone. Yes, I really do! I have a lab and I'm trying to dress him up, but it isn't working out so well. Before long, we were already happily chatting about dogs. I was so absorbed in our conversation, I even stopped blushing. After about five minutes, Brad complained. Ugh, I want a drink so bad. I wanted to buy some water, but I forgot. Next, I gave Brad a mint. Take it. If you eat it, your throat won't tickle anymore. When Brad took the mint, his fingers touched mine. What an unbelievable feeling. Brad wanted to drink, but I had the opposite problem. I drank too much, and now I needed to go to the bathroom. And it got worse every minute. I crossed my legs and started rocking. What's wrong? I... My back hurts. My muscles are asleep. Brad then took a plastic bag out of his pocket, turned it inside out, and put it on the floor. I didn't want to sit, but this was Brad. He put down a bag for me. Of course, I sat down and needed to go to the bathroom even more. And the light went on in the elevator. I shrieked, jumped, and hung on Brad. Ah, what's that? Everything's okay. They're just fixing the elevator. Don't be scared. We were hugging and Brad rubbed my back. If the elevator had broken and fallen at the moment, I swear I wouldn't have even noticed. And then the lights turned on and the doors opened. See, we're free. I jumped out of the elevator and rushed up the stairs to my apartment. The bathroom. I need the bathroom now. Brad's scream stopped me at the next stairwell. Hey, Marion, do you want to go anywhere tomorrow night? And there was a still with some triumphant fireworks, soaring hearts, prancing unicorns, or something like that. <gasps> yes, of course! And that's how an unpleasant situation brought me closer to the man of my dreams. Has anything like that happened to you?